that got me almost as fired up as this homemade cold brew coffee I'm working on here that's extra strong. So hope you all enjoyed that. We put that project together a couple years ago. Sarah Tomek played drums on that track and she's the drummer for Steven Tyler uh, as well as Maggie Rose. That was JT Cure playing bass and he is Chris Stapleton's bass player. And I actually wrote all the music and put the composition together and everything. It was very much an honor to have both of them involved in that piece of music that I wrote. And I'm continually grateful for all the incredible players that, that I keep getting to work with here around town. They're playing on my records constantly that I produce, and I just, I, I don't think I would be where I am without all of the amazing players, and so very much appreciative to, to get to work with all of these people. Side note, surround yourself with good people that are talented, and they let them inspire you to do better. So this whole project was such a massive challenge because the idea, the goal, was to record the exact same thing through every single microphone preamp that Cappy makes. And we wanted to keep it as consistent as humanly possible so that way you all could download the files for every track in the piece of music you just heard and compare all the preamps yourself. So there's a Dropbox link in the description of this video where you can download all of these files load them up into your DAW of choice, and listen to the kick drum through every preamp, and the guitar through every preamp, and the bass through every preamp. By an enormous percentage, the most common question I get about Cappy gear is, what preamp should I buy? This was the most commonly asked question back a couple years ago when we did this, and it still continues to be, except I didn't have a YouTube channel back when we did this, and so I'm constantly having to like send people links and explain what the differences are, and now that I have a YouTube channel, Thank you all for subscribing and liking and commenting. Love you all. Figured we should just throw this up here so that way you all can have access and so that way every time I get asked this question, I can reply with a link to this video. Now, since there were no vocals in this piece of music, it was just kind of a hard hitting rock track. There's another link in the description of this video to another video over on Cappy's YouTube channel where it was a female singer and myself playing acoustic guitar where we did the same thing. It was just a real stripped down singer songwritery kind of. Uh, song, and we did that song as tightly as we possibly could uh, through all of the different Cappy preamps, and so you can go over there and hear all the different preamps on an acoustic guitar and a vocal. And so between this piece of music that you just heard and the tracks you can download in the description in that other video, you can hear just about everything through every Cappy preamp. Now since that is the most common question that I get, which preamp should I buy, I thought I'd take a minute to talk about my favorites. Personally here in the studio, I have a pair of Cappy hiders and I have a pair of VP28 Platinum. Now both of these particular preamps uh, come pre-assembled and you can get them from cappygear.com. Link in the description to go to their website where you can buy these. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not getting paid anything to say this. I just really love this stuff and I'm friends with the guys over there and I try to preach the Cappy gospel as much as I can. But so between my favorites, uh, the Hiders have a little bit more forward aggressive mid-range and it feels like the low end on them hits just a little deeper, like like the low end hits maybe like 50 or 60 hertz, and then the VP28 Platinums are is my other favorite, and it has a smoother mid-range. Overall, the tone is a little bit smoother, and the low end seems to hit just a tiny bit higher, like maybe around 90 hertz, and so there's not a, a huge, huge drastic difference between them, but those are the biggest differences. So I actually use the Cappy Hiders on my mix bus. Every song that I mix goes through a pair of Hiders, and then to my bus compressor. And I use those on like rap vocals and any sort of screams, any sort of scream vocals, any sort of aggressive vocals I'll use the, the Cappy Hiders on. Uh, they sound great on guitars, they sound great on acoustic guitar. Uh, everything sounds great on everything. Uh, they're just, they're all really fantastic. But the VP28 Platinum is probably my very favorite vocal preamp ever. And at this point I've been very fortunate to work in a lot of the biggest studios here in Nashville and use all of the most coveted vintage units that everyone talks about that cost $10,000 a channel. And I really think that the VP28 Platinum is actually, it's at least as good as any vintage, highly coveted thing I've ever used, and in most cases, I actually prefer it. 
They also sound fantastic on drums and bass guitar and, you know, just pretty much everything. The VP28 does have a DI input on the front of it, and so if you're doing keys or bass or anything like that, the VP28 Platinum, at least for the ease of use, is, is wonderful, and the DI sounds amazing. I record every bass guitar I've tracked in here in this room uh, for since I got my Platinums. They've almost all of them went through the VP28 Platinum. So in addition to these pre-assembled models that I just talked about, they have a whole slew of DIY kits that you can put this stuff together yourself. This allows you to get like extremely good sounding top shelf gear at a really, really affordable price. Uh, the bang for buck is just off the charts, it's ridiculous, which is one of the reasons why I'm such a huge fan of this stuff. But they make a handful of equalizers that are all outstanding. Uh, they make a compressor that is absolutely stunning and a few other pieces. So get over there and check out what all they have to offer. I've got a few other videos going over like what's in my rack and you know where I just talk about the different stuff that I have and what I like about it and what I use it for. And obviously there's a ton of Cappy in this room. So go check out some of my other videos to get more information on that. But if I didn't answer all your questions in this video, drop me a comment down below. I'll try to get back to everybody and answer all of your questions if you have any. Drop me a comment anyway. Come on, help the algorithm out. Don't forget to check out links in the description for everything I talked about, and I'm gonna leave you with that. Roll credits. <laughs>